What is up guys, Beard and Bowler? We have got to get new gear. So we are going to where you get new gear at. Like the only place you get new gear at. B&H Photo Video in New York City. It is Cyber Monday. We have ordered a lot of stuff, but we didn't select shipping. Even though the shipping was free, which is awesome, we selected in-store pickup because these guys have never been to B&H before. I got a lot of stuff in my cart, so this should be pretty fun. So how important is it to be inside? We have to go to 440, next block, third floor and ask for Henry. Tell him what we're doing. See what we do to try and bring the best B-roll possible to you guys through. We will walk an extra 200 feet. <laughs> I just feel like I've lost money. The store warehouse is in the basement. Salesman on the computer summons stuff upstairs. It comes up through the trolley system and is automatically delivered to the salesman who summoned it. If the customer buys it, it's automatically delivered to the front with a tag identifying that transaction. If the customer doesn't buy it, it automatically goes back down to the basement and our inventory is readjusted. In theory, we know how many of a thing we have to the unit. The benefit of that is we are rarely caught by surprise when a customer says, I want to buy five of these, and we say to him, we have six in the basement, and only four come up. That's a very infrequent occurrence. Hmm. I always admired the system here. It's perfection. It's like amazing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> My father-in-law turned me on to the store because he's a professional photographer since the film and yeah. slide days. We've only gone to one floor. One floor. This is this is the stuff I've seen on videos, and I'm actually seeing it in person. This is the used part. This is my favorite part of the store. Yeah. This is where we sell cameras that I actually recognize. <laughs> That's the first professional camera I ever actually took a picture with. That's the Argus C3, widely known as the brick, for reasons which should be apparent. <laughs> Look at this TV wall. What, what is this ID? It's a HTC Vive. One thing we have to talk about, one of my favorite things, is these candies here. Zaza candy. You put it in your mouth, you automatically start drooling, and they make you want to spend more money. I yes. don't know how they're they do it. Because they're impregnated with a special elixir called Need More Gear. Well, in that case. Suck on that. <laughs> oh, I take a bunch, I put some in my pocket. I'm eating them all the way home your half the time. Loves that. Yeah, right. I love it. So much money. Every product is supported by accessories. Yeah. We are very big on accessories. <laughs> I thought well, we have a backpack full of GoPro accessories in the GoPro car. GoPro backpack. Not just yeah. GoPro. Not just GoPro. Yeah, I always tell a story of buying a, this was back in the mini DV days, buying a small mini DV just as a tape deck. Yeah. And the guy said, you're going to want the one that's the next model up because it has this mic input, a couple other features. I'm like, nah, nah, you're just trying to sell me something. That was my first time in B&H. Yeah. I regretted that Shouldn't decision for the nah. next two years. The interesting thing is, if you'd walk in and ask for the more expensive one, yeah. and you had said to him, what do I give up if I take 10 bucks off the table or 20 bucks off the table? He'd have shown you the cheaper one, and he'd have said, you can buy this, but you will lose this feature, which some people really like. Everything we sell has a feature or a special setting or a menu option that almost nobody ever uses, except for the one guy who does. <laughs> for the one guy who does, it's indispensable. Yeah. There are products that we sell, like the recorder you bought, yeah. where the less expensive one is less expensive, but the more expensive one is often a 
worthwhile and prudent investment in your future contentment and happiness. Yep. And I'm very big on the contentment and happiness. <laughs> They gave him a name tag. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's Manny. That's Manny Quinn. <laughs> what? Manny Quinn. Manny Quinn. <laughs> I didn't even get that until now. It, it was definitely worth the extra effort to yeah. get the permission to do that's things the proper way. For sure. That was a good tour. I guess we're gonna pick up our pick up our gear now. Thank you very much. It was nice Thank to you. Don't be a stranger. Awesome. Appreciate we you giving be. us your Thank time. You so pain was that? No, we just walked around. I didn't. I'm assuming. He didn't fill up his brain like a shopping cart. Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> cool store. There's there's a lot of gadgets here I don't understand. I don't I'm I'm semi terrified to go anywhere near anything because I have a feeling I'll break it immediately. Probably pick it up and start juggling it, and then that will absolutely happen. <laughs> there goes our bank account. Uh, 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 web pickup. We're gonna need all hands on deck available to carry these bags. <laughs> no, I don't want to see it. Better make us money. Make me happy. I am unconcerned with your happiness. Oh. Guys, the next time you see us, we will be on a brand new camera system. She comes up and writes a ticket as we're sitting in the car. Common courtesy, New York. Tell us to move, please. The car started, not even in park. Ah! I'm not complaining. <laughs> Sounds like a complaint. This is just a positive retelling of the facts.